are global issues, sure, but they're blaming the wrong parties and they're contriving it and making it all weird and stuff. And Obama sitting up there just listening and nodding. Did you see there. Obama basking in the glow, the media said? Of course. Well, he bows to the Pope, too. We've all seen that. You know, so time and time again, it reminds us that these people come in and blame us for things that they're doing. And I'm tired of it. I mean, it's just like the, the banking cartel blaming us for the economy. And you ruined the 2008 economy because you bought houses. Really? Is that what happened? They blame us for everything that they do. And no, you gave loans and ran scams and gave them to poor people that couldn't pay it. But that was a distraction. That's not the reason for the subprime. It's admitted they sold the same houses 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, in some cases over 100 times in the derivatives market. The central banks did it, not me. Yep, and it's all fake money. But notice they gut the poor, the actual poor that we care about and actually want to talk about every day. They gut the poor, and then they blame the middle class Americans, right? They don't. They don't. Blame yeah, the where would rich. the poor be if the middle class wasn't getting their hair cut, wasn't getting their car washed, wasn't getting their yard cut? I mean, it's just insane. And it's it's also the, the people don't seem to understand they're being blamed. You, we we all are part of this class that they're blaming. They're not blaming the point zero zero one percent. They're saying anyone that has anything. Pope Francis is blaming. Poverty on the middle class Americans. It's when every actuary shows wealth, true independent wealth, creates more wealth and makes people around it rich. Well, they know that too, but not to mention they're the ones gutting the poor and then blaming us. It's total insanity. It, they are doing the exact same things they're claiming we're doing. It's making a construct of fear and self-blame. Class warfare. Exactly. It's class warfare, but they're getting away with it and, and footing us with the bill. It's a total scam system. Oh, yeah. It's just insane. Well, I want to see, I want to do a White House petition to have the White House ask the Pope to give up, first to disclose the secret bank accounts and, and property of the Vatican, rumored to be the greatest in the world, and that they give half of it to the poor. You know how much secret stuff they have in the Vatican, all this insanity going on over there? They don't even disclose what they even have, relics and everything like they that. They admittedly own the most private land in the world. Yep. But that's fine. That he's not. The Vatican is great. Don't you understand? We well, the Queen of England shoots her mouth off about raising taxes for the poor, and she's the second biggest landowner in the world. I mean, shut up, you witch. They don't understand that money. Well, they understand. Hate her too. They're blaming us. But with wealth comes great responsibility to actually help people, and you can choose to morally do that. You, know, you can be like Henry Ford and build factories and pay folks enough to buy your car. And, and I'm not saying Henry Ford was perfect. He had a lot of problems, but. He understood an economy that makes everybody wealthy is what would be good for manufacturing and build a civilization. The globalists want to go the opposite against that. They want to shut down civilization and have it be unevenly distributed. Let's go to phone calls. I want to get into your, 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 your health news here in a moment. Thanks for holding. First up, Mark in Tennessee, you're on the air. Talk about his lordship, his excellency. Uh, they had horns going, I mean, it's like the royalty had arrived. But I guess he is the oldest, longest serving, continual total monarch. By the way, why is a religious figure on all of our television screens, but at the same time they're trashing, saying that any form of belief is evil and that nothing is real? But, oh, let's worship the Pope. Oh, it's like they say heterosexual stuff is now bad and evil and families are bad, but pedophilia is good. Mm-hmm. So basic Christian values are bad. We're being persecuted. But, oh, this guy, he's fine. He's great, though, because he says what, what they believe in. He's the talking... Well, the reason he's great is they have stuff bigger than the Swiss bank accounts, and the, the elite put their money in there. Right, so all Christian values are bad, except when the Pope comes. Then he is a worshipful king of all of us, and we should listen to every word he says. Makes sense. Yep, Mark, you're on from Tennessee. Thanks for calling. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, the, this new world or porn that I saw on CBS this morning, they interrupted, uh, the price is right, you know, oh my God. Did you did you see and hear the horns? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the is here. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, he's got to stop and kiss the baby, kiss the baby. Oh, my God. Uh, photo well, he has to kiss it and see if, oh, this is one they didn't chop up at Planned Parenthood. Huh? <laughs> the kiss of death. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just want to say, you know, th this is ridiculous. It's like, like I said, it's New World Order porn. Here you go. Here's this guy. That he's going to save the planet. Well, he is with Obama. With planet. Obama. I'm going to jump to the next person, Mark. We're going quick to calls here. Uh, let's talk to uh, Nate in Louisiana. Nate, you're on the air. Thank you. Yes, sir, Alex. Uh, good to be on the show, man. Look, I, 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 there's an, a new agenda, a new spinoff of Agenda 21. 
agenda 2030 yes. that, I, you know, I, I, I missed. I don't, I don't see how I missed it because I've been pretty entrenched in this topic. And yeah, that's the next signed. phase, agenda 2030 and beyond from the U.N. and Club of Rome. Uh, tell folks about it. Yeah. Yeah, right. And, and it, there's 17 sustainable development points in, in that agenda, and it's being signed uh, this week in the same week weekend that uh, Pope's going to be here from the 25th to 27th. That's so right. That's this the is their big push, issue. and then they're going to ratify it uh, in December, and Obama swears that he will implement it even if Congress doesn't pass it. There's been a total media blackout of this. I know. It, open world government. we got to get Lord Moncton on. He's going to be in Paris covering it. I'm tempted to send a reporter there. I just don't know if we have the funds to do it. I'm trying to be a little bit more miserly. Speaking of reporters, we're going to have Jakari Jackson and David Knight reporting in the third hour today on what they've been witnessing. Uh, but uh, great point, Nate. I'm glad you raised new Agenda 2030, which is the next phase of Agenda 21. And that global treaty, 1992. Let's talk to Andy in Canada. You're on the air. Go ahead, sir. Hi, hi Alex. Thank you very much. Thank you. I just have two little points I'd like to bring up. One was uh, random DNA swabs by RCMP due to burglary in Stratford PEI. Yep, more and more that they're teaching CDC. people you have no due process across the world. Well, it's random DNA swabs for a, a small-time burglary where the guy was cutting open screens in the basement. Well, Pretty you know well. the FBI, it's on drudgereport.com today, um, has our story up there. They're merging civilian, you know, when you're a realtor or whatever, and you thumbprint to be a realtor, you're a school teacher, you thumbprint. They're merging non-criminal databases and the ones from Disney World and everywhere, as I warned everybody, this has been already been done, with their database. How do you think their face scanning cameras work? They get your digital photo from the driver's license DMV. This is what the national ID card's about, is unifying all this. FBI merges criminal and civil fingerprint database, but meanwhile on Drudge, is another article about millions of digital fingerprints stolen. And people go, oh, we found your fingerprints. Folks, it's so easy to frame somebody with fingerprints now. Go ahead, caller. Sorry. I bring up the Pope now? Yes, talk about I his lordship. Pope now? His holiness. Yes, go ahead. Well, I was wondering if anybody else noticed the CNN glitch at 1231 uh, when he was in his parade route, but he was supposed to be in the Oval Office. Do you know what I mean? I didn't catch that, but uh, I guess they're heavily scripting it. Uh, what did you witness? Well, it, it skipped the whole section of the parade when it was supposed to be in the Oval Office. Other than that, I'd just like to send a shout out to 1984, 1776. Can you do that for me, Alex? Can you sure, say brother. Words? Yeah, you I took my so children. I, I will. I took my children out bowling last night with my cousin and his wife, and um, the manager came over and was a listener. In fact, I have the photos on my phone. I want Buckley to tweet them. I forgot last night. And he had on his um, left hand, so you could put that out first. The answer to 1984 on his fist is 1776. Nice. So it's pretty awesome. He's a big, big bear of a man. Uh, and so we're going to uh, tweet that out at Real Alex Jones coming up. Again, sorry to cut you off, Andy. I'm just moving quick to these calls. Uh, let's talk to Steve in Maryland. Steve, you're on the air. Hey, Alex, how are you? Good, bro. Um, I just got a couple little points here. Um, with the uh, Jesuit Pope, you're exactly right on the money. This guy is about as bad as they get. If you research Jesuits, I encourage everyone to do so. But um, this stuff's been on my mind since last night. I had a dream, and in my dream, uh, you've seen the signs, no justice, no peace. Yes. And in the dream, the signs changed, and they said, which get, you know, my hair stood up, but it said, no character, no rights. And then I'm like, holy cow, how everything's such an abomination, and the, the worst parts of humanity are being accepted and pushed. Like you said, demoralized us. And the fact is, no character, no rights. And that's, that's exactly how they'll bring us down through this. But on the Jesuits, they would come into, a, they would start a conflict keep them apart and if it looked like they would get back together then the jesuit they would send in a jesuit to get them to shake hands and then the credit goes to the jesuits and then also there's about a hundred different uh world leaders throughout history i gotta jump i gotta jump and more calls are coming up we're moving quick you want world government you want medical tyranny you want forced euthanasia forced inoculation you want state-run media teaching your children they should want to date when they're six years old, 60-year-old, 70-year-old men. 
You want the Democratic Party to come out openly and say you're a pedophile phob? You don't accept it? You're going to get it. And all the other curses that come with tyranny. We'll continue with your calls right into the next hour. Dizzy uh, and Dave and many others, Nick and others that are holding. Gucci Artie's me with us into the next segment. He's got some health news coming up. Mention what's coming up in that next little segment, Anthony. Absolutely. We're going to talk about the new superbugs coming out that we've been telling you about that are antibiotic resistant and basically what you can do about them and really what's going to happen ultimately when it, when it starts getting more of a big deal. We're going to talk about the peanut executive that's getting 28 years for apparently knowingly releasing salmonella in his peanut butter and what that means for the future of the food supply. There's some and they're saying he make it life in prison. Well, why doesn't Bayer for knowingly shipping out HIV? Well, there's yeah, there's some serious implications, too, in the supplement world, what that means for the rest of us. Also, talk about what may be the key to keeping unweighted, unwanted weight off, according to this new study, and how kids are getting juice, one, uh, one third of their fruit intake from fruit juices every year. And All right, that's coming up. Briefly, we got some really exciting news. We did a limited run of this at first. It sold out in a week. Childies is back in. Uh, this is a big four-ounce bottle of basically herbs and essential oils. This is the number one national bestseller private label to us. And we sell it at a little bit lower price, uh, but I'm not going to even say the company. It's just this is, Anthony, tell folks, Child Ease is now back in. You give your kids a couple of uh, tablespoons of this, one in the morning, one at night. It just absolutely changes, in, in my experience, their entire mood and outlook. It works like a charm. Tell folks about Child Ease. That's right. So the original formula has been sold for 20 years. We tweaked it, added some stuff, made it, in my opinion, a little bit better. But it has been one of the best sellers for 20 years, though. I think this formula is even more powerful, though. And it has been sold out for months. I mean, you launched it, I think it's sold out in two weeks, and we haven't had it for months because it's really hard to make, this new specific formula that we have. And it has things like chamomile. Lemon Sorry, I forgot that extract. point. It's a tweak on the na nationwide bestseller. Yeah, yeah. So it has like, things like lemon balm extract and chamomile. And what's cool is, also I think in that folder over there, we have some reviews from people that talked about using it for their kids, but they're also using it for themselves. So it's not just for kids. It's made for children. It's made to naturally soothe their brains and kind of relax them a little bit because if you think about it, with the television and the insanity and the food additives, kids are more stressed out now than ever before, I think. Yeah, I had a folder that had the reviews on it. Oh, they can right. read the reviews at InfoWarsLife.com. I'll try to find it during the break. The other good news is we've got enough brain force in, the ultimate brain pill. Some of the stuff in there is prescription in Europe. Uh, does it naturally, gives your brain what it needs to operate. It doesn't simulate something so you crash. Uh, I take it every day. Folks have seen the difference. You've heard the rave reviews. You can read the rave reviews. Brain force is 20% off. We're running this for just one week, uh, and so is DNA Force. On DNA Force, it is a true nutraceutical. Uh, one ingredient in there costs tens of thousands of dollars and a pound, isn't it? I mean, it's just totally yeah, ridiculous. To $40,000 a kilo. $40,000 a kilo. Thank you for reminding me. Teleprompter free. 20% uh, off DNA Force, the ultimate uh, longevity type product out there. And then, of course, Brain Force, discount of 20%. InfoWarsLife.com or 888 253 3139. We'll hit the health news and Peter Schiff and your calls. Stay with us. All right, Dizzy and others, your calls are coming up. In fact, we're going to move Schiff here at about 15 after so I can come back and get their calls before Schiff's on with us. And Schiff will be with us for the balance of the hour. He predicted accurately what happened with interest rates. But we have Anthony Gucciardi here with us with some breaking news, but you were able to actually find the folder. It was stuck in between another one. On Child Ease supports calm, focused attention. This is all natural. Uh, these minerals, these compounds uh, are known to just make kids healthier, happier, smooth out their whole metabolic system. That's what it does. A true game changer. Four ounces of this. I give my kids when I remember a, a teaspoon in the morning, a teaspoon at night. And my daughter, um, you know, was starting to get ready to go through puberty. She hasn't yet, but she's really gross spurting. She'd wake up some at night, do stuff. If I religiously give this to her, she sleeps the night, doesn't wake up wandering around that, you know, getting stuff to, you know, drink out of the refrigerator at 3 a.m., waking me up and, you know, knocking stuff over. I mean, it really works. Uh, Tell folks about the reviews there. And it actually tastes good. There's no alcohol in it. Most of these children's products don't taste good, so that's a different thing, too. But so we talked about earlier, some people are just taking themselves, not just giving it to their kids. This is from Button in Canada. It says, helps me focus in a calm, natural way. I take it with super male vitality and other InfoWars combinations. Then we have someone, Carl from the UK, says, it does what it says, exactly what it says. Regular customer, never been let down. So people are taking it themselves, too, not just giving it to their kids. And I've done that as well, obviously testing it out, and it really does just kind of calm you out. 
I think it's a great product overall, not just for children, but it is specifically made for kids. And I don't have side effects from brain force, but sometimes I take it a little too late and then I can't.